Carlos, a fantastic performance with the ball. Um, talk to us a little bit about the uh, state of the game when you, when you performed that match with Spain. Um, I guess it was a bit in the balance. Um, you know, we started well, but their batters countered everything we threw at them while scoring at a decent rate. Um, and for me, it was just to come in and put the ball in a good area and kind of back up what um, Jason and Kedrick had started. Um, probably the best of ball for a long time. And, you know, I had, I had good rhythm behind me. Probably wanted a ball about four, um, but just went one more, one more. Um, not usually known as a wicket taker, so it was glad to get a few wickets behind me as well. But it was just important for me at that point in time to be as disciplined as possible, restrict the boundary balls, and make them to force them to play good shots to get runs. Um, we found a good length on the wicket. It was pretty consistent, and they reaped the rewards. But, you know, Nikita Mill and Ashley Nurse played a really important role, bowl, and Marlon Samuel was bowling from the other end as the pace was attacked from one end. So it was a complete team effort, although I'm the one, obviously, that would take the plaudits for the FIFA. Um, you, you've had heroes with the bat in the past, but everybody knows about your performance in a uh, but with the ball, you're, you're not as you know as prominent. Tell us a little bit about, about the recent um, change, if any, in your bowling um, tactics. Um, no, I wouldn't say it's a big change. Um, I guess I've just been struggling for rhythm a bit, um, but today I found it, been doing some really good work around the Eswick before, and now Alfonso Thomas as bowling coach. Um, so I guess today is just one of those days where everything comes together. Um, you get the rewards, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I did anything different in the lead up to this game as opposed to the last one that I would have played. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to see your hard work come to fruition and for the stats to show it as well. Before the tournament, um, the belief was that West Indies would roll over PNG. That wasn't the case today. Tell us a little bit about what you saw from them and what you think about them as a team. Well, not only PNG, UA, um, you know, as you rightly, rightfully said, a lot of people thought we just come and roll them over, um, but they're very, very good cricketers in their own right. Um, you know, the short guy, Dai or Day, I hope I don't pronounce his name wrong, um, that was probably one of the best um, passages of batting I've seen in middle overs without trying to score a boundary. Um, I think he got 30 or 40 yard. Um, so I don't think we are underestimating them. But because obviously we haven't played against them, we don't know them, you're kind of trying to learn on your feet and trying to learn as quickly as possible. Um, and they're good players. So, you know, by sometimes by the time you get to that part, they're already 20 or 30 and you're kind of catching back. Um, so no disrespect to them at all. Um, I think Jay's played fantastically to make a difficult chase look easy. Um, and in the team, in the field, it was, a, it was a complete team effort. So, you know, we're coming up against some good teams. And again, I think those are two lower ranked teams out of our group. So, you know, it's tougher challenges ahead. And we need to do what we did today over a longer period of time. Um, and probably five, ten percent better when we come up against Ireland and the Netherlands. You had a few nervy moments in the warm-up games. Um, are you set into the tournament? It's, uh, been more comfortable, more confident by moving forward? Yeah, I think the two warm-up games probably happened at the right time. Um, I don't think we ever underestimated anyone. The pitches were a lot more difficult. Um, in one of the warm games, we got rolled for 114 or something like that and defended it. So the pitches were a lot more difficult then, but it was just a wake-up call for us, you know. It was, you're not underestimating. Are you really playing to your true potential? Um, and there was a few inquests and, you know, we sat together as a, a group with the coaches, without the coaches, and we just kind of started to brainstorm and we started to find a way how we want to play the cricket as a West Indies um, senior team moving forward. Um, and not only for this tournament, but to have a template as a team moving right through this tournament and then into the series that we have coming up as well. So I know it probably was a blessing in disguise. Um, as I said, we haven't played the two toughest teams by the rankings, so not let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But we think that the way we're playing um, is speaking to the template that we set out, so we're happy that we're taking those boxes. Yeah, well, the rankings say that, um, but obviously cricket is played on a day. Um, I guess I got a special affiliation with Ireland, having played for Lens Cricket Club in Dublin. Um, I've seen a few of the guys that were a lot younger, George Dockrell, um, Barry McCarthy, Andrew, ba Andrew Balburney, and then obviously knowing some of the older guys and their heroics in World Cups past. Um, it's not a team that we're going to take lightly at all, um, as we want with any teams in tournament. Um, but yeah, it should be a more challenging test, or the standing say it would be. So hopefully we can stick to our template, stick to our game plans, and execute 
under more pressure. Have you played out him before? Uh, or I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, and I didn't play any World Cup, so. Yeah. Uh, so obviously that's uh, Ireland are going into the, the game with an unbeaten record against you. <laughs> having one the last yeah, one. well, again, um, you know, you have to play on the day. Um, the, I guess the good thing is we know a bit more about the, about their players as opposed to the two teams that we would have played against. If that helps, we're hoping it will, and it should. Um, we'll probably be able to plan a little bit better, but at the end of the day, regardless of how many plans you have, you have to execute well. So come Saturday, we need to turn up play our best game thus far in the tournament, do what we've been doing, stick to our strengths, follow the template, tick the boxes and do it for a longer period and under more pressure because as the standings say, we're supposed to be better players. That's a change of venue for you, of course, the Harari Sports Club, have you played there yet? Yeah, well we had the two warm-up games there, um, apparently it was the two pitches that we played on won't be two pitches that will be used in the tournament, so that's good to hear. Um, <laughs> But the only other game I've played here was in the Choice Series against Sri Lanka and we won at Harare. So hopefully there's a bit of luck on our side there. And the last game we played, we defended 114. So hopefully we get more 114 this time. But hopefully we defend it as well. Or chase it down, whatever happens on the day. And you're still confident, obviously, putting all the way in the tournament? Yeah, um, you know, we have to be. That's why we came here. We came here not only to be a part of it, but to win it. Um, and I think people in Caribbean deserve that effort, that professionalism from us. Um, as I said before, we're not taking any teams lightly. We come to do a job, and so far, two or the two, and then hopefully long it may continue. Um, being one of the favourites in the tournament, um, do, you feel, do you guys feel any pressure at all? And uh, how is the mood in the camp? Well, I feel very pessimistic, so I always feel pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, we know that there, there's a target on our backs, and all the guys watch football, so we know starting to understand when a Man United goes up against a Brighton or Huddersfield, no disrespect to the teams we're playing against, but because we're expected to beat them, they come without any fear, they come and express themselves, and when they perform against us, it means more to the cricketing world if we perform against them. With that being said, we still need to keep our professionalism, keep doing things we need to do, and we need to keep putting performance in, because the people back home don't care who we're playing against, they want us to win, they want, us, they want to see performances, and we have a duty to do that. Thank you very much.